Hi guys, uh, in this video we will discuss about construction of an ellipse by using rectangle or oblong method where the dimensions are uh, major axis is 120 and minor axis is 80 mm. So we will discuss how should we construct it early in the AutoCAD 2022. So this is your AutoCAD 2022. When you open the AutoCAD 2022, what you have to do first is that you have to uh, set your screen. That is something like we need to keep the uh, units we need to check the units units and press enter it is in inches but basically we are talking about mm here therefore change it to millimeters okay then z enter a enter uh, we are uh, we are resuming all and after that we will give the limits 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 enter it will ask us uh, specify the lower left corner that is 0 comma 0 and it lasts to sway the upper right corner. In this case, I'm doing 500 comma 500. It's not necessary that we should keep every time the 500 or 500. We can change it as per our requirements. After that, the question is construct an ellipse by using rectangle oblong method where the dimensions are 128. For this case, what we will do is that we'll construct a rectangle by using the given dimensions. That is, length and breadth is taken as 120 and 80 we have to use line command only we have rectangle command also but instead of that we need to use rectangle line command only so by using line command i'll start so i'll specify some i'll take the line command here l enter or i can press it on the draw toolbar here and i'll select some random point on the screen and i'll drag it like this but here the angles are obtained for removing those angles what i can do is that i can press or the mode off is then no, we'll change it to ortho mode on or else the shortcut is f8 i'll press on the f8 therefore it will show me 0 and 90 degrees only in this the distance is 120 m so i'll draw the 120 it has gone beyond it so it is not visible to me therefore i'm using my mouse wheel uh, for dragging it so that it will look easy it will look on the screen or else what you can do is that you can press escape come out of the command and here the zoom extends option is there if you click on the zoom extents, whatever the diagram you have drawn will be totally visible to you on this screen. It can be somewhere or the other points also, it will be visible. Here XY is coming in middle, therefore what I can do is that I can select like this and the blue color box, whatever is there, I can take it, I can press on it and I can drag wherever I want and I can keep it. Then press escape. So this is your 120mm. Again use line command. This is 80 mm this is 120 mm and close the rectangle so that your rectangle with 120 and 80 is created after that what you will do is that take line command and from midpoint to midpoint draw a line escape and again use line command and from midpoint to midpoint draw the line and escape if the midpoints are not highlighted then what you will do is that the command is OSNAP. The command name is OSNAP and press enter. This dialog box will appear. See that the midpoint is highlighted. If the tick mark is not there, means it will not be visible to you. Therefore, see that these are all in tick mark position. Or else you can press select all and press OK. Because it is already selected, the midpoints are visible to me. If not, it will not be visible. After this, what you will do is that you can give the names something like uh, uh, what is the how do you give the names MT enter multi text enter so this is your multi text here 0 0.2000 is there we have to change it from I will give some 5 and press enter you see it has come very big no problem don't worry but if you press on if you finish whatever you want you write it and you press uh, in it tick mark button it will become as per the given size that is 5 Close text editor. See, it has become as per the given size. So don't worry about those things. Okay. Uh, then uh, this is your major axis, no? So I am writing this is AB. This is AB. Then again, I am using it. Copy paste. I am doing this is C. This is C. And uh, again, I am using copy paste D. Here, basically, I am using uh, control C and Control B. That is what I am doing. So A, B and C, D. If you want, you can give E, F, G, H also. So that one also I will give. 
So here this is uh, E. This is F. Uh, why I am giving is that it will be easy for you to understand when I am talking in the next minute. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll say from here to here means you might confuse. But uh, if I state the names perfectly, you, you might understand it very easily. For that sake, I am giving names. If not, I would not have different names. EF, GH. Okay, this is, this is H and this is G. EF, this is G and this is H. And we uh, have to keep midpoint name also, no? So here we'll keep some O. So this is your rectangle with 120 mm length and 80 mm breadth, which has been divided into four equal rectangles of uh, how much this one will be 60 and this one will be 40, right? So now draw two straight lines from E to A and A to O. What I have done now from E to A and A to O, I have drawn two straight lines. If you want, I will select them and show it to you. It will be easily understood. So these are the two straight lines which I have drawn here. It is for my easiness sake. You need not worry. You should not. Uh, it is not necessary that you should draw them. But it will be easy for you if you use this method. So now use the command DIV. This is called as division. Division enter. Once you click on the division enter, it will ask to specify or select the objects to divide. So select this object. Whatever the line is there, I'll select it, and I'll uh, give number of segments as so four or five. It depends upon your requirement. I'll press four. I'll press four and I'll press enter. Now this particular line segment, this particular line segment, whatever is there, is being divided into four equal parts, but it is not visible to you because nothing point is highlighted. How can you say that it is divided? For it to be visible, what you'll do is a T P Y P E. P, P, Y, P, E, P type and press enter. Now the point style is like a dot. Since it is like a dot, even though it is divided, the line and dots are uh, combining with each other and it is not visible to us. Use something else. I am using something like this. And point size can be varied. Here it is 5. Let it be 5 only. I will change if I want. If it is becoming very big, I will change it later on. Then press OK. Now you can see automatically whatever the previous obtained points are there, they have come up. Now again use div command, division command and press enter and select this object and press. Uh, how many these are selected? Here also those only should be selected. In the, uh, in the recent thing what we have given, four equal parts. Here also we will give four equal parts and press. So now I will give names for them. I uh, will give names then for them. This is 1, this is 2, this is 2, no, 1 second, this is 2, this is 2, and this is 3, this is 3. Now, uh, for this also I should give names, for. so this becomes 1 dash. This becomes two dash. This becomes two dash, and this one becomes three dash. So this one becomes three dash. Now join one dash c, two dash c, and three dash c by using line count. So I am joining this one dash c, three dash c, two dash c, and I am using again line command and joining this. So I have drawn three straight lines from 1 dash to T, C, 2 dash to C and 3 dash to C. Again I am using line command and from D to 1 in the same way from 2 to D and D to 3. These are the three straight lines which I have. Now use color coding, it will be easy for you. So this first segment and this first segment use some color like this here. I am giving red color. Then escape. Then use 2 and 2 dash line. And give another color something like green escape and second third button and third line segment here both i'm selecting it and i'm giving some other color like yellow now what you will do is that whatever the red color line is there you extend this red color line up to this red color line. blue color green color line up to the green color line and yellow color line up to the yellow color 
where will be the extend command in the modify toolbar you can find a trim beside that you have an arrow mark if you click on the arrow mark you will get extend here so you click on the extend and press the red color line button it will be extending if you press on it it will be extending like this again here also green if you press on like that it will be extending sometimes it in one click only it will be going in some cases it will take one or two clicks so randomly click them you will get it so i am clicking it two or three times for that so here i have clicked on three or four times for the yellow button for green it in two options it has come for red it took some more points because uh, some points are coming in between so this is how it is finished now what are the intersection points are there what are the intersection points are there those are the main important points too uh, see that these points are coming in between they are uh, confusing me so what i'll do is that i'll change again p p y p i'll use p type and press enter and here instead of 5 i'll keep some 3 and press ok you can see the change in the size of the points are being changed now sel uh, uh, select uh, select a polyline command select a polyline command and point uh, before that we will give the names for the intersection points before that we will give the names for the intersection points this is because it has come from the one and one dash we will keep it as p1 we will keep it as p1 that is red red combination is p1 and green green combination is p2 and uh, the yellow yellow combination is p3 if you don't want this to be this much big, we can change the size here. We can change the size here. Supposing like you keep 3 here also and press close text editor, it can be changed. So it can be changed. Okay. I will select this and I will select some 3 and press close text editor. It can be changed. This whatever. It is not changing. This one. 3 and uh, yeah. It has been changed in close text editor. In that way, you can even change the text height also depending upon your requirement you can change it it's it's a uh, it's your thing whatever you want you can give the sizes whatever you want you can change it or even you can even if you can change the type of the text also you have different types of text pixels you can even change it so here it is like a text let it be like a text only so i'm keeping it i've changed the number size also so now what you will do is that select a polyline command after the annotation is done, select a polyline command. Join A, P1, P2, P3, and C. Join A, P1, P2, P and C. It is coming like a straight line. It should be like a curve. Therefore, I'll use PE. That is called as P edit, polyline edit, and press enter. And it will ask us to select a polyline. If you click on the polyline, these are the options obtained. In that, we'll select fit. Therefore, the, uh, after that, uh, press escape. Now you can see that polyline has become like a curve. Polyline has become like a curve. I'll select the curve. I'll give some uh, random color. I'm giving blue color. I can also give some line weight. Supposingly 50, I'm giving. The line weight is not visible to me. For that to be visible, what you should see is that the line weight displays on LW display. Mode. So therefore, the line weight is also visible. To me. Now you can see that only one fourth of the diagram is finished. For it to be coming in all the other places also, we have another command called mirror. If you can click on the mirror, it will ask us to select the object. This blue color line or the curve, I want to select it and press enter. And use your minor axis as the uh, rotation option or uh, the axis of uh, mirroring image. After that, press enter. Now again, select a mirror command and select all the blue things and press enter. Use now major axis, major axis and press enter. So here this your diagram is finished. No, it's not finished. What we have to do? We have to give the dimensioning. What is the dimensioning? 120 mm AB and 80 mm CD. So here we have dimension directly here. Dimension. We can select AB or HG, whatever it is, no problem. And also we can select the dimension of F. G. This one also. So. You can see that the dimensioning is looking very small. How can you increase? Is that press D I M S T Y L E. The command name is bin style and press enter. 
in this you'll get uh, this modify uh, dimension style manager will be obtained in that we'll press modify modify you can see that the text is 0 0.1800 instead of that i press from 4 also i'll change the arrow size arrow size is also 0 0.180 i'll change it to 4 and press ok and press close now you can see that the dimension is also coming perfectly wonderful it is finished no even now it is not finished what you have to do we have to give the information beside it for that what you will do empty enter will select to something like this change this one to some 3 or 4 some, some 4 and press enter what are the information is there i'm i'm drawing these all things control c i'm copying it there and i'm pasting it here and press close text editor it has finished now we can see that um, it is looking a little awkward to me for that sake i'll drag it like this and arrow mark i'm selecting and i'm dragging it like this so it will be looking a little good so after this i want everything to be in one place only for that i can press zoom extras so it will be this so this is the method of how you how you draw a construction of uh, ellipse by using rectangle oblong method uh, where the major axis is 120mm and minor axis is 80 So this is how you finish the construction of ellipse. Bye.